past readings on the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. 6th of August, 2023. First reading is taken from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him. And myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were open. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let your response be. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Response The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory response the lord is king the most high over the old earth because you O lord are the most high over all the earth exalted far above all gods response the lord is king the most high over all the earth Second reading. Then David, we did not follow cleverly devised myth when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God, Father, when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Alleluia, Alleluia.
Our gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John, and led him up a high mountain by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became what? white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection in today's reading. Our Gospel for today tells us the story of the transfiguration of Jesus. The disciples were very lucky to have seen this momentous scene. They were the ones who first saw him clothed in all glory as he should be. Jesus revealed himself in all his divine glory. It is a special moment for them, as Peter confirms, it is good for us to be here. This is the moment where we say that the disciples were the privileged ones to have seen Jesus. Imagine the happiness of these disciples when they saw with their own eyes the greatest glory. Transfiguration is telling us to be to bear witness of the greatest power of God, and as Christians, we can feel it too. Like the disciples, we can see Jesus and feel his presence within our lives through his miracles. How is this even possible when at present people even neglect to see God in everything? My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, everything we can do be a miracle from God. When the sun rises every morning and we open our eyes, it's a miracle. The sun sets the fact that we are still alive and breathing. The families and friends we have are miracles. We don't need to see Jesus as he transfigured because Every day is already a miracle to us from Him. This is what Matthew 17 verse 1 to 9 is telling us.